so a guy had gotten some parts in a really really good deal and even despite this it was still a really really good deal so I go back to why I'm not a huge fan of AIOs and I know there's gonna be a little controversy on this but just hear a guy out so the year was 1969 it was the summer and I go to turn my computer on and beep beep boop 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 zzz, computer doesn't work and I was using this cooler this cooler right over here and when I look it's wet and moist fried the graphics card long story short the cooler had leaked and caused some shortage going on now water and electricity they don't do good too good together you know they they don't like to play nice that's one thing I've learned in life they don't play too nice and they can hurt you if you try to get involved and break up that fight and usually I don't try to break up that fight I usually let them do their things you know let them cool down and then afterwards when everything's kinda chilled out then we separate them you know easy divorce on that part so this is the Corsair H100i and this computer, this uh, cooler was released back in 2011. I think it was August of 2011. Yes, August of 2011. Yeah, I, I know this cooler's old. I, I know that. I get it. And I just wanted to show this why I'm not a huge fan of these things. Number one, an uh, air cooler from 2011 ain't going to have this issue. You might need a new fanage or two, but other than that, you could still reuse them. So I got to using this one, and this thing was like barely used it was used some it, normal use but I think within the last year or two maybe it just sat for a while according to the uh, previous owner and I go to take it off the motherboard and I was thinking it was like you know what I can still use it shake it around all right I hear some liquidage going on in there and I'm like all right we're good to go and then I see this that's right you see that that's some green crusty right over there and that is no bueno and the green crusty ain't too bueno and the kind of the point of this video is number one that maybe you should check your AIOs a little more frequently than not and if I was to do it I'd probably ch check them at least maybe once a year maybe six you know once every six months I don't know it's up to you now these coolers they're designed to last for about five years which is fine you pay maybe what hundred twenty dollars you get five years of usage if you do the math one two divided by seven uh, X equals negative B you get to $25 a year usage this is US dollars of course because that's where I am and I'm looking at this and I'm like oh man here we go so now I can't use it because I don't trust it and then when I would shake it a little bit which I don't think I could do it right now but she would have some seepage coming out over there so if you have your AIO take it out take a look at it you know clean your thermal paste which is good to change your thermal paste once a year that's something I just like to do but if you're one of those that like to do it every six months which hey more power to you so look and see if you see some green crusties. Definitely take a look at this plate. If you see some green crusties, 99.725% of the time, you're actually going to see, you might see some uh, green crusties over here. And the usual the cause of that is, well, you got some leakage action going on. So that is something to consider. And it's one of the reasons why I do get weary about AIOs. But, you know, this one is... 10 years old so I'll give it that one but I just wanted to show this to you guys to kind of keep in mind this is something you should be looking for so what a guy is going to do now is we're actually going to take this thing apart it has some fluid in it we're going to take all these screws out probably do it the wrong way but that's okay that's fine we're going to drain it up in there and I'm just kind of curious on what the gasket looks like what 10 years of you know fluid and usage looks like and let's take you guys along for the ride all right, so we got you guys on a uh, bench camera mode over here, and what we're gonna do is, I know this is just probably the dream port or whatever, but I ain't too worried about this. So I got this bucket because I ain't trying to make no mess on my uh, bench over here because well, I just cleaned it. So we're gonna take out these screws, they're Phillips screws, and we're gonna take this thing apart, and we're gonna see what she looks like. I've always wondered what a 10-year-old cooler looks like after years of use and abuse. I think she got one, two, three, four, a bunch of screws. All right, coming out nice and easy. All 
All right. Oh, that's gross. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, that is gross. That is. All right. Let's try to see if I can get you guys to see in there. So first off, let's empty out all this fluid, which this fluid is actually brown. Actually, now that I think about it, there we go. Hey, look, is this chocolate milk or is this turpentine? Is this gasoline? Oh, she pretty rusty. She pretty crusty. This is, uh, yeah. She ain't looking too good. And she smells kind of gross, too. Hmm. Shake it good. Shake it good. Shake it good. Shake it good. It kind of smells like alcohol. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't much of the drinking type, but she, she kind of smells like a maybe a little licorice type deal, the liquor or the booze or anything. She smells like alcohol. That's the best way I could do it. Adult beverage, to put it nicely. Now, this is 10 years. Let's see if you get you guys in there. This is 10 years of fluid action that's been going on, and she pretty crusty. So now let's take a look at this uh, base plate over here. And as you can see in the base plate, yeah, she got some of that crust going on, a little rusty crusty. And if you look right over here, you could tell that's where she's been leaking. She has that nice seepage. I guess the gasket, which is probably on that side, we'll show you in just a second, failed. And she's been kind of seeping out there for a little bit. So I'm glad I saw this, and I'm glad the motherboard that this was on still works, which is surprising considering fluid has been leakage all over the place. But yeah she pretty nasty all right so we got this rubber piece over here which i ain't no scientist by no means and i ain't too sure what this is but um yeah, that's what that does so if you know what that is you know definitely know let me know down below and uh, educate a guy on this and yeah these little fins look to be a little chunky in there oh that tastes gross oh that tastes gross okay so don't ever taste this fluid because that tasted really gross <laughs> Yeah, that was gross. And if we look, our gasket is, well, she's flat. She's flat. She's definitely, uh, she ain't got no action over there, and she ain't going to hold too much fluids too pretty good on that. So, uh, let's see. Can we pick you out? You know, we could pick our nose. Gosh, she smells like alcohol. It's pretty interesting. Yeah, this gasket is... She's stretchy, but she's too flat, and she's leaking. Let's see, we get some more fluid action over here. I hear her. I need to stop doing that. That smells driving me nuts. Now, I've never opened one of these up before, but I'm assuming that the water ain't supposed to look like that, and that's probably not good. So, And considering the smell, I think she's fermented or something like that. I don't know. Maybe you could get drunk off of this. Very disgusting. I think it's burning my hands. And it smells pretty bad. So what can we take with this? I ain't faulting Corsair by no means by this. And I'm not trying to talk bad about their uh, coolers or anything. The one that I had was probably maybe three years old when it leaked. And it, it was kind of the same thing, too, when I took it apart. It kind of leaked, like, right over here. And this is the H100i. So this is the first ver uh, version one of it. They have upgraded it to version two, which has a thicker radiator and supposed to be, like, betteridge and all that good jazz and whatnot. So I'm not faulting Corsair for this by no means. It's just, guys, if you have an AIO and it's been sitting there for a while, what I recommend you do is um, check it out. Just take it off, look at it, see if you see any of the green crusties corrosion going on over here. And if you do, then it's probably time to retire it. Another thing, too, if you get a lot of slosh going around, like you ain't seen the green crusties because the water's going somewhere, slosh it around and if you feel like a lot of slossage you're gonna have a little bit of sloshes because this thing is not a hundred percent full but if you got a lot of slossage going around over there then there's a good chance that the water is evaporated which they do they just evaporate all the time or it possibly has a small leak so what do you guys think so just want to do that video just kind of give you guys some heads up something to consider with uh, older hardware i know we're big on taking old hardware and just kind of you know refurbishing repurposing them i guess on aios you kind of got to be mindful of that looking at their website they have a five-year life expectancy some of them have exceeded it i've known people who've had aios for eight nine years and have never had an issue with it but your first red flag should be number one 
you start seeing some drippage action. Number two, cooling efficiency has failed and or is not as efficient and your fans are just not doing what they're supposed to be doing. Um, well, they're spinning way higher than they should. And yeah, so thanks for watching. Comment down below. Let me know your thoughts, what you think, how gross this is. If you like the video, definitely hit the like button. And as always, we'll see what mess or what we come up with next.